Hi everyone. Welcome to MVM online lecture series. Greetings from MVM College of Physiotherapy, Bangalore, India. Today, we will be seeing about animated anatomy of basal ganglia. By the end of this lecture, you may able to understand what is basal ganglia, and other functionally associated structures of basal ganglia. The basal ganglia are a group of structures found deep within the cerebral hemispheres. The structures generally included in the basal ganglia are the caudate, putamen, and globus pallidus in the cerebrum, the substantia nigra in the midbrain, and the subthalamic nucleus in the diencephalon. Here, if you look at the thalamus, it is located in the center of the brain, like the lateral ventricles, the caudate is a C-shaped structure, which becomes narrower as it extends towards the back of the brain. Putamen and globus pallidus are located just above the thalamus. As suggested by its name, the subthalamic nucleus is located ventral to the thalamus. The substantia nigra is a basal ganglia structure located in the midbrain. The grouping of nucleus are based on the appearance of the particular nucleus-like striated appearance, lens-shaped appearance and appearance of a striped body. Next, first look at the reference view just below, it shows the location of basal ganglia structures. Thalamus is located in center, and, laterally followed by lens-shaped putamen and globus pallidus. Like the lateral ventricles, the caudate is a C-shaped structure with a thick anterior portion called the head, which becomes narrower as it extends towards the back of the brain. The middle portion of the caudate is known as the body, and this tapers off into the tail of the caudate. This picture, explains about the basal ganglia structures in different views. Now, you can easily understand clear location of thalamus, putamen, globus pallidus, and caudate. Now we see the basal ganglia structures in the axial view. Look at the close relations of thalamus and caudate nucleus on the lateral wall of lateral ventricles on both sides. The internal capsule is a white matter structure, it carries information past the basal ganglia, separating the caudate nucleus and the thalamus from the putamen and the globus pallidus. The thalamus is separated from the basal ganglia by the posterior limb of the internal capsule. The thalamus are paired structures situated along the banks of the third ventricle. Caudate is an elongated mass of gray matter that is closely related to the lateral ventricle. Around the rostral border of the internal capsule, it is fused with the putamen of the lentiform nucleus while its tail terminates in close relationship to the amygdala. Here you can see the location of putamen and globus pallidus internus and externus. Here we can identify the anatomical parts of basal ganglia by using the MRI. The deep brain structures are a complex group of nuclei and white matter tracts that are sometimes difficult to identify on routine imaging. Correct identification of specific nuclei can alter treatment, such as the case with typical and atypical Parkinson's syndromes, other rare but important conditions like Creutzfeldt-Jakob disease, and conditions like hypertrophic olivary degeneration. It is also crucial that neurosurgeons correctly identify these nuclei, pre-surgically, for positioning deep brain stimulator leads the most important being the subthalamic nucleus for Parkinson's syndromes and the thalamic ventral intermediate nucleus for essential tremor. Radiologists will be able to better assist clinicians in diagnosis and treatment once they are able to accurately localize specific deep brain structures. We hereby conclude the lecture on anatomy of basal ganglia. Kindly contact me, if you have a doubt or queries. Thank you very much.